North Dakota victorious by eight over Northern Iowa in the Betty. Kyle Doperalski along with Val Sussex. Val, North Dakota trailed by four at the break and really turned it on in the second half. What impressed you the most about UND's effort in half number two? Yeah, North Dakota just didn't quit. They're just a resilient bunch of kids, and that's just the mentality that they have. Work hard and good things will happen, and that's exactly what happened. There was no hanging your head because you missed a shot here or there. It just was a lot of hard work. There was a lot of bodies on the floor, a lot of contact everywhere, and, and North Dakota is just a tough team, and it was a gritty win today turned into a very emotional game in the third quarter. Let's go back to take a look at the highlights all the way back to the very first bucket of the game. Yeah, Jill Morton did such a nice job establishing, establishing herself early and getting two easy back-to-the-back -back buckets. That's nice. The nice thing that uh, Jill Morton can do is she can score in a, an array of ways. And then for UNI, Kennedy Kirkpatrick, the senior for UNI, is just a, a tremendous player for them. She does just a little bit of everything, followed by Megan Moss. She was quiet today, um, had a quick bucket there in the first half, but very quiet. Fallon Freegie decided to come up with some huge threes in that first half for North Dakota, really keeping the pace there when they needed a little bit of a run. Abby Garretts for Northern Iowa finishes the ball game with 10 points. She had a couple triples in the first half. Lexi Claybo getting to the free throw line a lot in this ball game. She drew the foul there. And then Akili Moten finishes with six points and three rebounds. And that play by Northern Iowa got the Panthers a four point lead at the break. Yeah, and it was you and I a little bit to start the half there. Heidi Hilliard hits one of her threes. Uh, Lexi Claybo again with a block. Seven blocks tonight for Lexi Claybo. You see uh, Jill Martin there. She's going to hit back-to-back -back threes. And she just finished with 16 points and was just a great uh, shining star. You see that dump, dump pass down to Akili Moulton, who finished 3 of 7 for 6 points. But you can't say too many good things about Lexi Claybo, who finished with a, a game-high uh, 29 points. Nicole Krager knocks down the 3. She finished just with 8 for Northern Iowa. UND continues to run the floor, create turnovers, the steal and the hoop by Megan Daly. Kirkpatrick finishes for Northern Iowa down low. Very good ball game in the second half. Back and forth it went. Lexi Claybo, this establishes her new career high of 26 at the time. Finishes with a career high 29. This is the last hoop of the ball game. Fallon Frigi out in front of everybody. That made the margin eight points, which was the largest margin for North Dakota the entire afternoon. Val, as we take a look at the numbers here, what are your final thoughts on this ball game? An eight-point win for North Dakota. Yeah, such a good win for North Dakota. I have two favorite stats here, Kyle, the turnovers. You know, coming into this game, we talked about North Dakota averaging about 19 turnovers a game, and that's just way too many. Under 12 is great, and they finished with 11. So that number excites me. And then the rebounds. North Dakota has always been a tremendous rebounding team. 18 O-boards gives you that many more possessions and 44 overall rebounds. Uh, Coach Bruce's team has always had a ball hawk. They're just ball hawks. They have a knack for going up and getting that ball, and those are probably my favorite stats of the night. So North Dakota goes to Baylor on Tuesday to take on the Bears. Let's preview that matchup in a game that's going to be very difficult for North Dakota, but an environment that is going to benefit UND down the road. Yeah, these games are great for North Dakota. Coach Brew and his staff does a good job of scheduling teams like this. You've got to play teams that are going to challenge you and environments that are going to challenge you, and it'll only make the young players from UND um, grow a lot and be kind of better. It brings you together as a team when you're playing in tough environments because it's kind of you against the world. There's a lot of people there, and they're not cheering for you, so you got to cheer for each other, cheer for your teammates, and it'll be a good one in for North Dakota on Tuesday. It's the second ranked team that North Dakota has played this year, opening the season at Oregon State. But today, it's all W's for North Dakota. The Fighting Hawks get it done over Northern Iowa by a final count of 80 to 72.